Hey guys, welcome to Pilates with me, and this is my Power Pilates class with the small ball. So grab your small ball, grab your water, get into some comfy clothes, and grab your mat, and let's start. I love the small ball, the small ball so much because it is so versatile and it is so much fun. Um, so enjoy, guys. Let's start standing at the back of the mat. You're going to stand with the ball between your thighs, just above the knees. Bring your feet a little bit closer together so that you feel like that ball is squeezing nice and tight between those thighs. We're going to start with a nice slight bend in the knee, roll the shoulders back, and remember those five basic principles. You're going to take a deep breath in. Then we're going to dip the chin and roll your spine down. We're just going to do a few little roll downs to warm ourselves up. Keep the knees slightly bent, keep squeezing your ball, and then slowly roll your spine all the way back up. Extend your legs to end. You're going to do it one more time, so slightly bend, squeeze the ball, dip the chin, roll yourself all the way back down. If you don't have a ball, you can use a pillow, but the ball is a lot more comfortable. You're going to inhale, exhale, roll your spine all the way back up and then extend your legs to end. Now we're going to stand up nice and tall and I want you guys to come into slow little squats. So you're going to inhale, move the arms forward, exhale, squeeze yourself up, tightening that thumb, tightening those thighs as you come back up. So just having that ball between your knees, make sure that you get such a nice little even workout and your feet stay parallel. We're going to do five more, so we're just doing ten. Four, three, keep neutral, two, one. Lift it up, hands go onto the hips, you're going to lift the heels up and you're going to lower. So we are going to go quite fast because this is a power Pilates class, so don't get a fright, it's good for the cardio, good to pump that blood through your body. We go five, we come up six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop the heels, drop the hands. Come back into a squat and add in both of the movements. So we stand and we do a heel lift. That's one. Squat, stand, we do a heel lift. That's two. Keep drawing that navel to spine and keep breathing. Five. Six, tighten that ball, don't let it slip up. Seven, eight, heel lift. Nine, heel lift. Ten, heel lift. Now hold your heel lift. Place your hands on your hips. Let's see if we can do 20 fast pulses. So you tap and lift for 20, 19, 18, a little bit faster. 16, 15, 14, feel those calves burning. Whew. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold those heels, keep them lifted. Drop it down, come straight into a squat, and we're going to pulse. Squeeze the ball. Pulse that bum up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and hold it. Keep it here. Lock those shoulders down. You can even split those arms if you want. We're going to fall into a lovely little roll down and then into a plank. So don't collapse. Gently lower, straighten those legs. If you need a bend, that's fine. Otherwise, walk yourself forward with your legs straight into that beautiful, neutral plank. Lock the shoulders down. You're going to inhale, tap both of your knees. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Tap, lift and squeeze. Three, four, five. Don't round your shoulders. Open your chest to the wall that's in front of you. Seven, eight, squeeze, nine. Thighs are on fire. Ten. Now we hold that plank. Get it comfortable. Squeeze that ball. Lock those shoulders down and squeeze your core. Come on. And we're going to go for another 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one gently rest no shell stretch i know you want to go into it but bring those hands underneath the shoulders those knees underneath the hips and tuck your toes now really squeeze the ball nice and tight we're going to take a deep breath in exhale we lift the knees just slightly inhale you lower exhale we lift i want you to imagine you've got a tray of hot drinks on your back and you don't want to sell that tray so don't go too high don't squiff the hips keep it flowing feel the arms burning if you lean too far back into your toes you're not going to work those shoulders like you should be let's go for another four three two and one now hold it up keep it up ten now i'm still squeezing that ball you're trying to flatten it it's not going to pop i promise three two one release you're going to go back into that position but we're going to squeeze and release the ball this time so draw navel to side lift the knees hold now squeeze the ball release two release stay up three Neck in line with thoracic spine. Five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze that tummy. Nine, and hold for another ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest it down. Nasty down, guys. Move the ball to the front of the neck. Come down onto your stomach. So this is actually going to be your stretch. It is your swan stretch. Move your feet wider if you've got lower back issues and obviously don't lift up as high or give it a miss completely. You're going to reach the hands in front of you, but bend your elbows and have your thumbs touching each other. Don't have one hand on top of the other. Rest the tip of the nose to the mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, push the pubic bone down, roll the ball towards you and extend in those arms into such a beautiful swan. Obviously, you can go higher, go higher, but listen to your body. Take a deep breath in. Bend the elbows, exhale, come all the way back down. We inhale. We exhale. Roll your spine all the way back up. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, bring it back down. Let's just do two more. Breathe in. Exhale. Roll it up. Hold. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale. Bring it back down. We're going to do one last one. Breathe in. Exhale. Push the pubic bone into the mat and lift. Hold. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale. Relax and release it. Now stretch your arms forward with that ball and bring your feet a little bit closer. I want you to squeeze the ball and lift those elbows off the floor. Tip of the nose to the mat. You're going to inhale, exhale, lift into a superwoman or superman. Try to squeeze that ball and then inhale, relax it down. Exhale, lift for two, relax it down. Lift for three. So this isn't about how high you can go. It's about how stable and aligned you can be. Five more. Straighten those arms. Two more. Last one, and we hold, reach it forward, look down. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest it down. Leave the ball behind. Bring your thumbs in line with your chest. You're going to bring your knees together, bend your knees, and just lift the feet. Let's go into 10 push ups. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift. If you feel you need to open your hands wider, you can, but keep your neutral spine. Don't lift the bum. Inhale, exhale, one, two, three, 
four, five, neutral spine, six, seven, eight, nine, as for our Pilates, we don't rest, 10, hold, you're going to tuck the toes under, lift it into a plank, spread the feet wider, and then push straight into your downward dog. You can move your feet a bit closer if you want to get those heels lower. You want to be an upside down V, not an upside down U. So you're really trying to push the chest to the toes as much as you can. You're going to roll it back down, open the knees, feet together, and reach those fingers forward. And then roll yourself all the way back up. That was perfect, guys. We're going to come into a little bit of a tummy workout now. So on your back with your board, we're coming into your dead bug. So dead bug is a lot of working opposite arm, opposite leg, opposite obliques. We're going to get into the right leg first. So take the ball, imprint, place the right hand on the ball, on that knee. We're going to engage that core, lifting up that left hand and that left leg to tabletop. Okay, so we're pressing down. You're going to inhale, reach, same arm and same leg, and exhale, lift it back up. So there are so many variations that you can do of dead bug. You can do opposite arm and leg. I love this one because you're putting more pressure on that knee. This is four. And then in turn, this is five. It works your TA a lot more. Six, seven, eight, push, don't cheat. Nine, and last one, 10. Lift it up, hold it up. Roll the ball over to the left side. Reach the right thumb up, push into that ball. Inhale, exhale, one. Two, you can also just use your hand if you wanted to. Three, but this makes it so much more fun. Four, five, get those ribs connected, lower abs in. And six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it up. Grab the ball in both of your hands, bring your knees together, try to push through. You're going to reach the ball back, reach the legs forward, lift it up, one. We're going to do 10, lift it up, two. Tummy is already on fire from those lovely dead bugs, four. We're going to really be a dead bug here, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Hold it up if you can and pulse that chest upwards for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. And then release it and relax it. Well done. You're gonna take the ball places between the knees. Adding that little bit of a squeeze between the knees just makes you work your tummy muscles a tiny bit more. Take your hands behind your head. We find our imprint and lift the legs to tabletop, squeezing the ball. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift the chest, keep the elbows open. Inhale, go all the way down. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, we go down. Make sure you've got the air con on. I forgot to turn mine on, so I am dying. Four, five, six, seven, squeeze that ball as you come up, eight, nine, ten, hold it up and now pulse that chest, four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold, and lower the head, lower the feet. That was perfect. You're going to grab hold of that ball, place it underneath the right foot. 
we're going to move away from the tummy and go to the bum. Make sure your feet are in alignment here. You don't want one foot further forward or back. Keep them in alignment and pretend like the ball's not even there. Neutral spine, open the shoulders, hands alongside the body. Take a deep breath in, exhale, push up. And then inhale, lower down. If you're already shaking, it's not a bad thing, but I do suggest that you try and get a little bit more control because at the end of this, we're going to be holding and balancing on that right foot, which is lovely. Back into those hamstrings. We're going to lift for six, seven, eight, Nine. This is the tricky part. We hold at 10. Now balance into that right foot. Lift that left leg. Lift the hips and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place the foot down. Place the hips down. Control. Move it over to the other side. Left foot is on the ball. Feet parallel. You're going to take a deep breath in, exhale, and we lift. We do 10 bridges. One, this one feels a little bit less controlled. Two, find your center. Three, so fun fact, four, men and women have a different center. It's quite funny. There's a lot of things that women can do leaning forward and back that men cannot do. We got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I hate it. Lift it up. Push that left foot into the ball. Lift that right leg. Oh, hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, place that foot down and then drop the hips. Swap the ball back to that right side again. We're going to lift up again, hold it up this time, and we're going to extend and bend the right leg. So you're going to push the ball away, bring it in. Engage your core, push it away, bring it in. We go three, four. If you look down, you should be able to see your thighs, not your ribs. Six, lift. Seven, lift. Eight, nine, ten. Hold it up. Pulse the hips upwards. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Hold it some more. And then relax it and release it down. Well done, guys. Swap it over. So back of those thighs are burning like crazy right now. We're going to lift straight into a bridge. Make sure that it's even. And we extend and bend. One. Extend. Bend. Two. Lift the hips. Three. Four. Five. This is beautiful. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Hold it and lift the hips and pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. And then relax it and release it down. Good job. Hug those knees into the armpits. So because this is your power Pilates class, you can honestly do as many reps as you want of these exercises. I'm just going through it, giving you a good cardio, giving you a little workout. You're going to come back onto your hands and your knees. We are still working on the bum. You're going to take the ball, place it behind your left leg. Tuck the toes under. You're either going to do this on your hands or you can come down onto your forearms to make it a bit more comfortable for your wrist. Choice is yours. We engage the core, squeeze the ball, Lift it up. We come down one, two. It's always good to do this in front of a mirror because you can see whether or not you're skewing, whether your hips are moving. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, squeeze it. Ten, now hold it, squeeze that ball, pulse it upwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, and then release it and relax it. Swap it to the other side. Make sure it's nice and secure behind that neck. Tuck your toes under, hands underneath shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift. Squeeze that ball. So there's no point in just holding it. You gotta activate it. Squeeze it. Three. Pull this tummy in. Four. Should be able to lean just on that right arm and you're comfortable, you see? You can have that hand behind your back. Six. Seven. Eight, a little bit of shakes is good. Nine. And last one, 10. Hold. Squeeze the ball tighter, pulse it up. Four, 10. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. And then lower and release it. Good job, guys. Whew. You're going to roll that ball away. We don't need it for the rest of the class. You're going to come onto your forearm for me. Move your legs so that your knees are in line with your hips or as close to being in alignment as possible. Hand goes onto the hip, top leg straightens. Now lift into your side plank and we're going to lower and lift the top leg. So you're going to lift for one, lift for two, pushing into that bottom leg. This is a lot of glutes in this session. Four, tighten those abs. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and we hold. Now reach that top arm up. This is beautiful. You're going to bend and you're going to extend. Notice how my bottom hip does lower a little bit. That's fine because you're actually giving a bit of an oblique workout because you're dipping and then you're lifting again. We're dipping and we're lifting. Let's go for five, four, make it graceful. Three, you can do it with a flexed foot if you want. Two, nothing has to be pointed. One, hold it. Take the hand onto the hip again, pulse it one more time for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. And then relax it and release it. Push it into that nice little side bend, grabbing onto your opposite shin. It's amazing how. Such a few little exercises can make you so warm and so strong and weak at the same time. You're going to come onto your side arm on the other side now. We're going to straighten that top leg. Top hand goes onto the top hip. Engage your core and we lift. Remember, you're going to lower and lift the top leg for one, for two, make it strong, for three, using a lot of glutes in that bottom leg, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. We hold and we pulse for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Reach the top arm over and we bend and extend. One, reach it, make it graceful. Three. Beautiful, guys. Four, five. I have faith that you're all using those five basic principles of Pilates. Tummy is tight, shoulders locked down. We've got eight, nine, and last one. Ten. Hold. Take the hand onto the hip. Pulse the leg one more time for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. And release it. Yay! Well done, guys. That was your power Pilates session. Who says you can't do Pilates in your lunch break? Let's try and release it out a little bit. So you're gonna come sit on your bum. Let's cross into our pretzel stretch. So one knee goes on top of the other, and you move your shins in line with the front of the mat if you can. If you can't, those feet come back. We lengthen. And you fold. Catch your breath. 
after all of that, you're going to feel that your bum needs a stretch. Bum, back of thighs. You can lift it up only when you're ready and let's just rotate. So grab onto the top knee and rotate. Release, swap your legs like root on rouge and then open those feet and fold yourself forward. Oh, I just love how Pilates gives you so much energy. Walk it up, grab the top knee again and twist. And bring it back to the center. Well done, guys. That was awesome. I hope that you enjoyed it. There are so many more exercises you can do with this little ball. So I really suggest going out and buying one um, or using a cushion, a nice plump cushion. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely amazing. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I will definitely put more exercises and more videos with this ball. Have a lovely day, everyone. Bye.